As woke education, which we've been talking about for a while, takes over the classroom across the country, a group of Colorado parents has decided to take charge of their children's education by creating their own public school. Merritt Academy in Woodland Park, Colorado, focuses on traditional studies like math, science, and patriotism. It also vows to keep politics out of the classroom. Join us right now is founding board members John Dill and Jason Ledley. Guys, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so, so John, start at the beginning. Why is it important to have a no politics school? Well, it's important to listen to the community needs, which we started do it. We, we did last summer. Uh, there have been long-term discussions on the community wanting more choices in education. Right. And then, so you listen to the community. You, we surveyed the parents to see what sort of things they wanted to have in their school. And then if you keep the focus on what's best for the kids, your decisions become fairly clear on what to do. Sure. And Jason, so you've got five core values valor, goodness, perseverance, responsibility, and friendship. Now that's a public school where I've never seen that kind of uh, thing etched up on the wall. Okay, if you come here, this is what we're gonna talk about. Yes, that's correct. Again, uh, part of our genesis is born out of uh, an examination of community need in our community um, where we felt like there, there was evidence for expanded yeah. access to, to options and choice. And part of what came out of that was not only do we want uh, a traditional or classical education, but we want there to be a focus on character development. And through discussions on yeah. character development, we arrived at placing an emphasis on those, those five values. So John, there are people watching all across the country and around the world right now thinking, you know, I'd like to send my kids to that school, but it's a private school, right? Now, it's a public school. So explain how you're actually getting public money to run your school. Uh, so we applied as a traditional charter school, that charter was denied, and we used an innovative approach with a group called Envision Reimagine Board of Cooperation Education Services here in, outside of Colorado Springs, where they contracted us, and so we follow all public school requirements and rules, and we work underneath ER BOCES to operate our school. Now, there are startup funds involved, though, that you are not getting reimbursement from the state. For. So are there, is there a way that people watching right now can help you? Sure. Uh, our website is www.merit.academy, mm -hmm. and on there is a donate button, and we have received, we, we're a rural community of modest means, so we appreciate all expressions of yeah. support that we receive. Jason, I would imagine the reaction from folks in your town is unbelievably positive. Uh, that's correct. Again, we... Um, uh, sort of at our inception, this was born out of surveying the community yeah. uh, because there there was call for for expanded choice, um, and we've worked tirelessly, I would say, over the past year to to try to deliver on that that promise of expanded access to choice. Um, we've been off and running since August 23rd, Fantastic. and I, I would I would agree the response has been quite positive. Terrific, uh, John Dill and Jason Ledley. We thank you very much. Good luck to both of you. Come back in six months and let us know how it goes. Thanks, Will sir. do. Thank you. You bet.